my good side and my that side. <laughs> Apparently, I have a better side. I think it's this one. This one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was told. <laughs> <laughs> So, I am the head of product, so what that really means, actually head of anything for that matter, is really managing a team of people, mm -hmm. right? So we are managing a team of about 20, 20-ish people, um, and in the case of product, we are focused on delivering uh, the vision of what the application, or I guess our software application, is to the, our customers, whoever so that let's, is. let's keep asking questions if we don't understand anything, uh, there's no stupid questions, but otherwise I really appreciate that. Everybody. Number one thing that we value the most is the customer experience. And our customer includes our passengers, right? Our customers who's booking the Padala service, our bikers, and also our internal stakeholders. So whoever that's using anything that Ankas delivers as a software. So that's what we value the most. We want to make sure that our customers and stakeholders are happy. So Julia, can you mm. describe your role in Ankas product team? Really, when, when I get asked this question, I, I say I'm an advocate of our user. So I try to prove or at least be that conscience that the product that we're launching is really user-centered. And I could say uh, what we launch is what our users need and it's it meets their expectation. As I mentioned earlier, Every UXR is a conscience and an advocate of the user. So we continuously listen, not just to the users, the bikers and customers, but we also listen to the product managers and the owners. So we hear their solutions out and try to act as that, as that biker or customer that they're trying to provide the solution on. And we became technically a user as part of the conversation through us. That's what I did, no? <laughs> Jace, ready ka na daw. Mananood daw si George. No. <laughs> so it, it really boils down to the person, um, the, the designer knowing as much as they can about the user, specific to their to their industry. Right? What, what are the pain points? What are, what are they thinking every day? And I think the, the closer that you can get to, to knowing those things, the better you can be as a designer. So as designers, we we make a lot of assumptions as well. We have to admit that we don't know everything about our users. And some of the things that we, when we do, do design... Oh, it's okay. I'm just gonna get some stuff. <laughs> Sorry. Dun, 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 dun. You're doing so great! <laughs> 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 uh, I just have a question for Jason. Uh, since part of your work is like um, acknowledging and knowing what the best approach or experience for every user is, how does it affect your everyday life? Part of it is like overcomplicating things, right? Because you you want the experience to kind of fit you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's really having that 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 foresight to say, this is enough. This is the core experience that we want. When we were working on this new version of the app, we wanted to make the the experience of that app or how people feel about it consistent, right? So that everything from our websites to our apps to and relate all those to the how the brand is actually portrayed. Of course, we know that the Ankas has a really, really strong brand. We wanted to kind of inject that kind of tone into the app. So you can actually see that in some of the, the models we have. We have few funny illustrations, we have animations that hopefully add a, a little higher quality to our app, as well as bring delight to, to some of the users. My role is being a group product manager. So basically, I actually lead a team of group product managers to execute uh, the product vision. So basically, I lead the PMs for our front-facing platforms, our user-facing platforms, uh, the customer platform, the driver app or the driver platform, and then our back office platform and also our data, data dashboard. So basically everything that is user-facing, I, I lead the PMs for those. There are business needs, yeah. there's also customer needs. Yeah, right, right. right. So I think um, at the end of the day, all right. So one thing that I have to say is that um, there's no perfect way to define balance. Uh, for me, it's just more of like what basically is needed 
at the moment, what serves its purpose at the moment, and at the same time, um, looking like 10 steps ahead. Especially for something like ANCAS, diba? the industry, the transportation, technology industry, and basically like mobility, mobility tech. You want to envision a world where tech enables you know, the mobility of, of, of the people. But the reality is, aside from all the aspirations that you want to have for your business and for your customers, there are certain regulations to follow. The balance here is that we need to ensure that um, we reach a level where customers are happy and they get to be repeat customers or they get to be loyal. And at the same time, we, we aim that bikers will always be there for us to, to partner with us. So because uh, we are their preferred platform for their livelihood and at the same time the business. So we ensure that the business meets its, its needs and, yeah, and also like, you know, uh, so it could still fulfill its mission. Bye. <laughs> 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 Ipaliwanag ka. Ipaliwanag! Okay, tama na.